Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I still use stuff on eBay. Today is Friday and we got, I don't know, 20 some orders going out. Probably about 25 would be my guess like in here. I looked earlier, I can't even remember. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you that. Um, I filmed a video yesterday about a trailer of the books that I did and honestly the more I sorted through it after the video, the better it got. Found one seventy dollars VHS, believe it or not. But if you wanna see that video of the trailer load of books, Go ahead and just look back on my channel. Maybe I'll pin a comment up here or something. But anyways, you guys are here to see what's sold today. Oh, I bought some stuff today. Yeah. Um, picked up some vintage Pokemon cards today. There wasn't anything shadowless in there. There was some unlimited. There's some base set two, fossil, jungle, not a lot of stuff. And then some that's a little bit more modern as well. Paid $80 for the lot. Um, basically there's one Charizard in there, base set two, that should pay for the whole lot. And then if there's anything else mixed in, that will be my profit. So yeah, not sure what else we got mixed in. Just kind of took a little game on that one just because I wanted to get some Pokemon cards. But anyways, let's show you guys what's sold. All right, just like usual, we're going to start down on the floor. I actually ran an auction for this. These are really hard to price, these RC cards, just because <sighs> so many different components. They might be broken. I didn't bother testing this. I just took a few photos, took a lot of photos, listed it for $70 plus, or not listed it, started an auction at like $10 plus shipping. So I figured if I got that, it was worth my time to ship it even. These are not bad to ship. Man, that thing's pretty cool. So yeah, ended up going on auction, I think $71 plus shipping. Had some weird stuff going on with this auction with one bidder. They asked me to cancel their bid at one time. I did that. And another time, I think eBay might have canceled their bid. I don't know. And then they kept bidding even after that. But somebody else won. I was kind of glad to see that because I was not happy with that bidder. But anyways, $71 plus shipping. Very happy with that. $178 going out. I no longer bring 78s to the unit, but I still have a few left here because I'm worried about them breaking going back and forth. But I got $15 for that one. Had listed at $20. I believe this is an old Gene Austin. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see. Let's just start up here. I actually pulled everything from both units and brought them down here. We got Fort Deer, first CD going out. Let's just go through the CDs real quick. Good for what ails you, Music of the Medicine Shows from 1926 to 1937. What else we got, what else we got? We got a little Eddie Vedder, Into the Wild. We've got two, volume one and two, of the Corn Shuckers Frolic. These went out to the same buyer, did have them listed separately. They asked if I'd combine shipping and I said yes. We got four CDs going out here. These are all PFR Pray for Rain, and these are all signed on the inside. I had these listed at $15 plus shipping a piece, and they asked what would I do for all four, and I said $40, because that sounded great to get $40 for these four CDs. We got one action figure going out. Any GI Joes I've got listed now, I'm taking a little bit lower offers on just to move them out, because they've been listed just about a year now. Not quite, but we're getting close there. $4 plus shipping on that guy. One little Claremore, Oklahoma pin going out. Love selling these pins, they're so easy. And we got one sewing machine part. This is off Kenmore, if I remember correctly. Let's see, what else do we have? We got some books up here. I listed a whole bunch of books from that haul yesterday. Two big boxes, those two boxes, listed all those. There's also some random DVDs and VHS in there, but not very many. One DVD, and like half a dozen VHS in the bottom box. Probably do two more boxes like that today. Or maybe one box and a sewing machine or something. I don't know. We'll see. Will-O-Wisps Christmas songbook that is going out. Let's, I think I got $10 plus shipping on that. Pretty cool. One Wii game. This is one that I cleaned with my disc resurfacer. I've had some people ask about that. It is the Elm Auto Smart. But yeah, been very happy with that. I think mine is actually a model that was originally released like in the UK potentially, because it has a different screen than what most of them have here, which I think means it was made in another country. So here we go. We got 100 of these black and white photographs going out. These are all ones that I don't think are interesting enough to sell on their own. Usually scrapbookers and different types of people are buying them for stuff like that, or maybe somebody else wanting to resell these. I list them typically at $22, which is, I believe, what I got for these. I think I got five more lots listed right now. We did a bunch of those a couple weeks ago. 
one older Nancy Drew book. The higher these numbers, the better they typically are because typically the lower print they are. One through 10, they printed, you know, millions of copies of those, but numbers really high, they didn't print as many. Here are four Christmas books by Donna Van Leer. This came from an old lot of books that I bought, where I bought it was a different trailer load of books. And since these all came together, I sold them together. What else? We, oh, we found another CD. One Oxford Southern Sampler from the year 2000. So we got that. Here's a book on carp. This is one of those things where there was none of them listed when I listed it. So I listed it at 15. I think I took an offer around 10, but I can't remember. You'll see on the screen. Cooking Wise, Recipes for Healthy Living. A little bit of damage to it, but yeah. First Line Therapy. We got this Tulsa 75. I almost pulled off this dust jacket and just trashed the dust jacket, but I ended up leaving it with it. It's just in terrible shape. But yeah, still left it there. What would you then? Would you have trashed the dust jacket or left it? Sometimes when these are in really, really bad shape, I, I don't know what to do. One record going out, we got Earl Garner, Bluegrass Fiddler, none listed, so I listed at 15. Also, this isn't something you're gonna find on Discogs. So yeah, that's there. Here's a Carhartt jacket. This thing's pretty cool. This is actually my brother's. He wore it out and then wanted to get rid of it. And then I wore it for a couple more years. And then I sold it for like, I think we got $48 for this. So it's got paint all over it, grease stains. He does a lot of mechanic work. Um, here's some patches here that my granny did, you know, like that's her handiwork. But yeah, $48 on that. Brother wore it out. I wore it out a little bit farther and then Sold it and got almost fifty dollars when we were all said and done. So that's awesome. And then last thing we got is this. This is a Wilton piece. I don't know if you can see the Wilton there, but it's got like a lobster or something on it here. These four trays. I think I got like around thirty dollars for this. So very happy with that. But anyways, that's everything that sold here. We're gonna go to the house. I'm gonna show you how to ship something. I don't know what. We'll ship something. I'll show you how to do something. And then after that. What do you guys want to see me ship? Why don't you just put that in the comments down below? What do you guys want to see me ship? Let me know. And then after that, I'm going to show you the Pokemon cards. Let's take a look at those. So yeah, let's go. All right, so here's what we got. Don't know if we got a lot here, anything good. Got one Charmeleon. Decent shape on that one. We do have the Charizard. Let's go, let's go ahead and start there. Base set two. Decent condition. Probably could see it better if I pull it out of this, but I'm not gonna try and do that one-handed. I would guess it would grade about a six looking at it. It's not showing up on the camera real good here, but we got quite a bit of scratches and such. But I don't know. Maybe send that off for grading. Who knows? I need to check the price. I don't know what PSA is charging right now. One Machamp, of course, first edition, like all the others, not much there. This Gyarados is interesting. So I don't know. So look at the back of this. It's flipped over and it's miscut like this. I know there were some they made like that on accident. So yeah. Some of their errors are like this, but like, or is this just a fake? I don't know. What do you think? Error card or fake? I know this inverted back is sometimes an error, but I don't know. That's not a good sign. It's Inte right here, a little promo. Let's just go through everything real quick. Close, we got Venusaur, Dark Arbok. I'm sure this lighting is absolutely great for this. This is by far the best one. We got Brock and Misty's cards here. We got a Lapras, Erica's Vilebloom, Kadabra, and then randomly in here we got a Lunala GX, which doesn't make any sense with the rest of these cards. And then it starts going downhill pretty quickly. I don't know, we got one full art there, so maybe that's something worth looking into but yeah like i said after that it went downhill really fast whole bunch of energies and then we got some a little bit more modern stuff towards the back here maybe not there's a poly world here from unlimited it looks like so who knows who knows what we got Gonna have to look through these a little bit closer. I don't think we got anything crazy here. It's a reverse hollow drowsy, but nothing special. 
So who knows? Ooh, got Pikachu there. So yeah, looks like we got more modern stuff at the back though. But that Charizard is the most interesting. Hopefully, that Charizard should be all my money back. Maybe just a little bit of profit there. And then, what do you think? Fake? Real? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? But yeah, that's what we picked up today. Venusaur is going to be good too there. All right. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay, so one little surprise behind the Venusaur. So those all look normal. We found a Nitto King and a Nitto Queen. So yeah. Base set too. That's some more rare hollows. Makes me wonder if there's anything else behind any of these. Don't think so. That might have been the only one like that. <laughs> Who knows? But I don't know. We keep finding surprises. Yeah, that's great. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you how I ship out a video game. We got Super Monkey Ball on the Wii. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw it in a poly bag. Not a poly bag, a bubble mailer. I get these from Gyro Pack. If you use code GRAFF10, G-R-A-F-F-10, you get 10% off at checkout. And I do have a link down in the description. Best price I can find on the internet for them. And I got some cool orange ones, but just put it in there. Now, if this thing is over like $40, $50, then I'll put it in a box, 864. But besides that, putting them in a bubble mailer. That's how I ship out video games.